Right guys, we are back. I do apologize for that one. Uh, seems there was some internet troubles on my side. Uh, quickly rectify though. Now we're back into this matchup. Uh, it is the CGI match between an Nexus and Empire if uh, you just joined us or if you're wondering what's going on. Empire currently 2-4 down as uh, a Nexus are capitalizing on their strong play and defense of both the bomb sites. Once again, we'll see Casey start starting us off taking a uh, curse over there. Sly with that reply. Now, uh, Pansy, you were in the match while I was away. Can you please uh, fill yeah. us in what happened? Uh, well, Stormy was pretty strong. He did have a fantastic clutch against Sly, really holding his nerve on that B bomb site. But it does seem pretty even. Plenty. Empire seemingly quickly learning what um, Nexus are adapting to, but it, it does seem to come in dribs and drabs, and the Nexus overall, in my opinion, do seem a little bit stronger. So, we'll just have to see what comes out on this, because, you know, Empire do have the attacking side, and they're seemingly down, so you can see where uh, it might become an issue. Sure, and of course, with them uh, winning the life and taking the attacking side, of course, they want to be grabbing a couple more rounds than what they currently are. Mm, definitely. Uh, See if I can go with my tradition and go away with the scopes euphoria having changed it up from an M40 back to the R700. I never really understood the mentality behind which scope is which. The one just having less bullets than the other one. Or do you understand what's behind it? <laughs> well, clearly the scope was hindering him. This one will bring him better better luck and, you know. Ah, right. So it's a placebo <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, right. I'm pretty sure all of us have got that one button on our keyboard we push. It doesn't do anything, but you push it just because you know it's going to make you better. That's just you. Oh, is that? Okay. Damn. A Euphoria pushing down the street does take out Zycox with a Deagle to the face. Okay, he's still with a quick reply. Another headshot flying out. Euphoria sitting in that light. He is man alone. One versus three at the moment. And with that much gunfire, there's not much he could have done. And um, sorry, a Nexus will grab the round, taking it to a two round lead. Indeed, and uh, I think I'm going to follow Boko off the bat here, considering he's been playing really strong with that SMG. But I'm going to see if he can does if he can make his way into that B bomb site again. To seemingly avoid all the spam going through that alley. Into the melon's house, and no one kind of dropping to those initial nades and frags and spam. He does spot one player in that B area. He does get the frag. Does get the tag, not the frag. Can he kind of land this? It doesn't seem as though he can. And Curse does finally pick up one of his own onto KZ Star. And Boko's had to back off after that. Worrying a little bit of aim. Shark's picking up one for himself, and it does seem a little bit like Empire trying to learn. But Boko does pick up two for himself there in that B alley. Finally coming through strong with that SMG. He's slowing down a little bit. Boko does get tagged up by the uh, player in the A alley for Empire. And it's all on Sharks in a one on three situation. He does get the frag onto Boko, making his way around back A to only come into the sights of a. Rather strong uh, scope with an SMG in hand, which was Stormy, and another round going to the Nexus side. Now, besides Boko, everyone on the Nexus side <laughs> has got a positive KD ratio. Not can not the same can be said for the Empire side. And uh, it's just little numbers like that that really start showing through and uh, showing how the teams are not performing. Now, Shark starting us off here the, uh, in this round with a nade kill. <laughs> He does get caught out. Nexus man down, starting early on. Slide pushing up, but does get taken, or does take out Boko there. And that's going to open up that B bomb side quite a bit. Uh, next, oh sorry, Future now, your last man standing. And he's got quite a task ahead of him. Does take out the first one. Still got two more to find. He is looking in the right direction. Does get a curse of the last bullet of his SMG. Shocks. Now, again, on that light side. And hopefully his positioning is superior to a Future's. But Future's been pretty quick on that trigger. And Future also knows where the bomb is, so he knows how to bait Sharks out of this one. But, oh, but Sharks patiently waiting. Future does walk in front of the same. I'm going to take it to 6-4. That's unfortunate. It does. But, uh, I'm going to try and watch Stormy off the bat here, who's pretty much locked down at the moment, but maybe did reconnect, I do believe. So maybe you can get a little peek, pick on the cross here. Trying to watch the street, but all over the place, going for the spam up through, nothing landing. So, uh, it's a little flick through. Boko once again in that B area, but nothing much happening. Zikox finally picking up a frag for the next side, but Sly returns the frag onto Boko. Two frags for Zikox now, who's really showing how to hold that A push. And it's all slowed down a little in a 4 on 3 situation towards the next side, but Stormy landing another frag. He's got it down to a 4 on 2. 
Euphoria and Sly with everything to do. And Euphoria not playing it too defensive here. He's sitting on top of a wall. <laughs> How aggressive can you get? So we pick up another Zikox finally landing the frag onto Euphoria, who was standing in the middle of the street. Um, as you do. But that's not one of those moments where you can actually see right. So the Nexus was sitting in so tight, so dedicated on positions, <laughs> that he probably could have walked down the street and wouldn't have been spotted. I, mean, I believe we've actually seen that. I, I, saw, oh, I think it was Miracle or something that did it. Yeah. Just walk straight down the road. <laughs> and if teams aren't careful, it might really come back to bite them. But a Nexus starting off strong this round, grabbing three frags. Bokka's already all the way at the top of the street. And he's going to be cleaning off what's left of this Empire team. Wow. Oh, Euphoria with a quick scope there onto Bokka's head. Here's the last man standing. He has reverted back to the M40. As he realized that the R700 is broken. <laughs> now he's going to see if he can close off a lost couple of frags, but with four players to find, that's a massive uphill struggle. It's found one in the form of KZ Star, but Zycox in there once again, cleaning it up. 8-4 is your half-time score, and a Nexus are looking strong going into the next half. Indeed, but you can see from the scoreboard how the SMGs were just making their way wherever they wanted to. Bocco and Zycox between them, racking up a massive amount of frags for, them, for their team. And doing the initial damage, which is exactly what you need on this map, just to cut down those few players who try and make it across the site early and just not letting them have it. Uh, not at all. Now, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's one of those moments where you, where you think about it and you're like, you know, it's going to be such a struggle for Empire to try and hold back, especially with the SMGs playing so strong on the Nexus side. Mm -hmm. They could actually just run and gun into any site they want to at the moment. Yeah. I mean, the reactions are just um, superb. They really are on form. Their movement's all up in there. So uh, they, they don't have much much to worry about when they do go up the SMGs of the Nexus side at the moment. Oh, well, let's see how true they hold to that form. Let's uh, see if one of them maybe has a nice front spawn. Okay, mm, Stormy's actually got a good one. Let's, let's take it away here with Stormy. See if he can maybe get something here. Again, Red Tiger skin on that R700. KZ star getting that nade frag onto Sharks. Zycox with the second one onto Sly. And just like that... Just under half the team for Empire's gone with nades. Wow. And now Bokko and Zycox again with those SMGs. Minx and Euphoria down. Curse is your last man standing. And uh, it's not going to be made easy for him. He's got an SMG. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what he was trying to do. They did get an exit frag for all his work. But yeah. taking it to 9-4. Uh, looking good. Once, yeah, those SMGs coming up strong again. Just watching Bokko then literally powering it down the street on B. Taking no prisoners and just holding forward. He's getting away with it, that's a worrying thing, but he does seem to switch it up this round. He's going for the A push, but uh, taking this time, Kays ends up with a frag of his own. Zikox replying with another. These nade frags are raining in for the Nexus side. Empire cut down to two members so quickly. And uh, Kays ends up seemingly getting it done. And uh, Minx finally picking up a frag, but Stormy does chime in with one of his own and one of another. So we are in a three on one situation, all with it on Minx's shoulders, who is sitting. Firm in that gap area, does uh, see a player, does land oh. the deagle onto Dick Zikox. Lucky as hell. But um, left against Future and Stormy. Two people who can clutch the hell out of any situation. Now, Minx trying to make his way to the gap area, but Stormy, aggressive as hell, in the middle of the street, just shuts him down. Looking over here at the scoreboard, I mean, the Empire team, they're working kind of together. They've only got like a, a four frag difference between top and bottom. Well, there is a nine frag difference between... <laughs> Uh, the top and bottom of the of the Nexus side, but I mean Future on 10, I mean sorry, Stormy uh, on 10 for 4. <laughs> future on 10 for 4, I was about to say, you know, yeah, the, the gap has now been closed. And I mean, pretty much talking over this round as a Nexus just rampage over the Empire side once again. Um, yeah. Do you know, this makes it hard to watch considering how hard we had to work against Empire and, you know, Yeah, ouch. true. <laughs> That's all I can say to that. But, you know, if you, if you don't lock these teams down, if you don't have those nades in place and you die early on, what do you expect? It's Crossfire, it's one of those key maps. You know, Empire don't seem to be keen it up this time. Bokko once again makes his way around to that A side, locking it down, giving them a limited reach for Empire. And Sharks finally picking up the frag to the Empire side, and what not happening. Bokko does seemingly be raining down his, his third world fire upon the uh, Empire side, but once again, the round is over so quickly, the bomb I don't think has been even planted once. It's just. Uh, I think they've seconds. attempted it. <laughs> they've, they've tried. At one point, but they're going to be like. Just, you know, goes down the street and clears house. He's just having none of it. It's, it's kind of one of those moments like, okay, guys, just a little bit longer in this round. We can get. I <laughs> promise you, we can get the bomb down. Not plant points, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sly starting us off, taking out Barco. 
And for once, that SMG push has been silenced by the Empire side. Zykov's going down too, and the spearhead for a Nexus is gone. KZ Star trying to come up big, being second in line for his team. Does grab the Frank, they're onto Sharks. Sly is sitting in tight, nearly like a mousetrap, waiting for someone to come around the corner. Nothing will happen of it, though. Euphoria taking out future. KZ Star with a second of the round as he takes out Curse. And he does get tagged up. Two frags and 98 damage gone for this man. I don't know how he's surviving. It takes a third. What is this man doing? He's made of titanium. And now he's going to wait for his teammate to see if his teammate can do something for him. Euphoria is in the bottom of that A side. KZ Star with the fourth as he takes it. Euphoria oh, and the fifth as he takes God. out Mings. Finishing it off in style. And he'll be wow. sitting there thinking, so yeah, guys, we're not planning the bomb ever again on this on this map. <laughs> they don't seem to need to. Yeah, who needs who needs when you can just gun down the whole team now? That was the first match, the CGI between a Nexus and Empire. Nexus cleaning house 13-4, your end scoreline. And uh, from myself and Pansy, we will be bringing you guys more action in a moment. Stick around.